Greetings, fair earlings. I am Smelly B, and I'd like to thank, welcome you. I always want to say I, I'd like to thank you. I can't thank you in the beginning. We ain't done nothing yet. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you either to or back to my channel where the topic of conversation is all fragrance, all the goddamn time. Ain't gonna be nothing else. Um, to do a bit of housekeeping on the front end, let me let you know I am not an expert. Okay, I do not aspire to be, I do not claim to be, and I am certainly not training to be. I'm here simply to share my little base level, raggedy, uh, uh, <laughs> uninformed, ill-informed opinion about fragrances. I, I experienced them as a consumer, not not by any means a student or an expert, so let me let me make that clear, because don't come to me looking for answers, because I, I ain't got them. Um, I'm here to learn from you more than anything. So if you, you have something you'd like to share, something you, you want to correct me on or, or advise me, I'm, I'm happy to, I'm coachable. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for the community. I really could talk about fragrances all day. I can listen to people talk about them all day. Engage me. I, I welcome it. Hit me up in the comments. Um, that out of the way. Today I want to talk about, so I... Always see in the drugstores, like in your wall. I don't know if everybody everywhere has that, but like Walgreens, um, CVS, you know, stuff like that. Um, they all have a little fragrance sections. Walgreens is a little more expensive. They have a little more. They'll sell designer stuff like your your uh your Gucci's and your Guess and stuff. Not Guess. Um, why is my brain drawing a blank right now? But you'll find your Jimmy Choo's and all this stuff like designery stuff in there. You know, decent designery stuff. Which isn't necessarily my bag, but I get curious about the vintage fragrances I see in those shelves sometimes. Like you see a Shalimar. Um, that's where I got my first Shalimar actually from a drugstore. Shalimar, you see your um, uh, like Obsession and Genote um, and shit like that. <laughs> like um, Taboo, you know, stuff in that realm of fragrances. Charlie and then the one I'm going to talk about today, which is uh, Sierra by Revlon. I decided on a particular day, I'm very familiar with Obsession. I feel we all are. So, you know, that's neat to hear no there. But I was like, I want to take a gamble on one of these um, fragrances that classify as vintage. I think CR came out in 73. Um, so it's had some, some years in the game. And, and I just wanted to know what it was like. I looked at the notes of a few different of the a uh, few of the different older ones. We're all familiar with Shalimar. Well, I won't. Why do I keep saying that? We all are. A lot of us aren't familiar. It depends on where you are, sort of your your in your fragrance journey. Shalimar is a familiar fragrance for many of us. Um, so I was familiar with the note profile of, of that, and I have I have um, a couple of Shalimar. So um, I, I wanted to try something else. Obsession is really familiar. I looked up the notes to this Ciara though. It was going to be between Charlie because that's my daughter's name. So I'll probably still find about all of that and, and get it. Um, but then the Ciara, it is um, uh, again was launched in yeah, 73. And the top notes are raspberry, neroli, bergamot, and lemon. Mids are Brazilian rosewood, ylang ylang, orris, jasmine, and palmarosa. The base notes are apopanax, incense, leather, vanilla, musk, and cedar. It's all about that base for me. That's that's what makes this something I'm, you know, able to 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 jive with. It is a dated fragrance. It is something that you when you smell it, you know, this ain't come out within the last <laughs> in the last 20 years. Like this is this is a, you know, a more dated uh fragrance profile, but it works. It still works. I it's one that on 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 uh on a blotter or on paper doesn't really do it any justice. You smell it there and it's just like, you know, ill. This smells old. Not even ill, it's just, you know, you it's dated. You know what I mean? Um but something about the way this works on my skin, and I don't know if it's gonna work that way for everyone. So it's a, it's one of those things. But it's cheap enough that you buy it, you're not at a loss if you get it and you you decide that it's not for you, you hate it. It worked for me. I got lucky. On skin, oh, it's so good. For me, the base notes are what what sort of take the lead. You get that the incense, uh, real nice and projected. It's incensey and leathery and musky, but then it also has like this nice little creamy powdery thing going on. Um, for me, it's got a sweetness to it. It just it's really nice on me, and I wear it and 
I get compliments. This old ass fragrance, <laughs> like no matter. And I and I have stuff, you know, the hundreds and hundreds of dollars spent on a fragrance, and it's it's new, and it's about the, how, the house of this and the house of that. And I wear it, and I'm looking for people like nothing. Y'all don't, y'all not catching this, nothing. But when I put on this little raggedy ten dollar fragrance from 1973, I walk out the door and oh, it's cute. Oh, you smell good. What is it? Oh, stopping me in the grocery aisle and whatnot. What's it? I hope you don't mind, but you smell so good. Really. <laughs> and that's you know proof positive it's, it's it's really not about the price point or you know the house or what's trending at the time where would you like where would suits you where what works with your body chemistry your 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 aesthetic your vibe all of it all matters it all works together um i haven't shown y'all the bottle so this is the 80 strength concentration. I think it comes in, you know, sort of different levels of, I can't imagine anything stronger than this because it's 80% it, oh, is a punch in the face. It's a punch in the face. You don't need much of this. I like it. I like this a lot. Uh, yeah, so this is the 80 strength um, concentration. I guess I should have pulled out the box to show you guys, but I didn't. It's yellow. <laughs> Look it up. It's on for granted like everything else is. Um... But this is what the fragrance itself looks like. Ciara, C-I-A-R-A by Revlon 73. Just beautiful. If you're, if you're, you know, into, can stomach a more mature fragrance? Um, you, you like, you know, a, a feminine fragrance, but you like it with a little edge, with a little depth. Um, with a little, with a little... Yeah, it's sort of what a, a man could could pull this off. I feel it is a, a little, maybe a bit powdery for for a man, but for for a combat boots kind of chick like me, this works. You know, it very much suits who I am, and I think that's why um, it's not out of context when, when I wear it. when I wear it. It's oh, you smell good. Like it just works with the whole the whole thing. It's worth a try. I just thought I'd uh, hop on and give a very quick uh review of it just in case you ever come across it it's a, just a fun little something to try again top notes raspberry neroli bergamot and lemon middle notes brazilian rosewood ilongilong oris jasmine palmarosa and the base is apophenax incense and leather which i get strong on my skin vanilla musk and cedar i love it i'm i'm gonna be where well, i wear this it's like a damn near daily grab for me in the fall winter I like this. I like it. Let me know if you're familiar with it. What other vintage fragrances should I try? Um, I'm trying to think of uh, the name of the one. So so have any of y'all tried Charlie? Let me know what that one's like. Because I, I see that one a lot. And I'm, I'm sort of wanting to grab that one up too. Just to, just to see, you know, where, where it goes. I may hate it, may love it. Let me know what you are thinking, what your feedback is. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Till next upload, be well. I pray you are all, all very, very well. And I will holler at you next time. Deuces.